Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to record your iPhone or iPad screen without jailbreaking. First and foremost, keep in mind that this does not work on iOS 7, unfortunately. Um, they did put up, uh, they did create uh, an iOS friendly application at one point. However, that one was taken down shortly afterwards. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't think there's really an application for iOS 7 unless you jailbreak. So if you really want to get this application, uh, you're going to have to get go back to iOS 6 if you have iOS 7 already. Um, however, you do need um, you know, to have it backed up. If you don't have a backup of your iOS 6, there is no way um, that I know of to revert back. So yeah, um, the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your settings before you do anything. Um, then you're going to want to go into general, date and time. And you probably have it set to set automatically. You're going to want to have to switch that off. Then you go into set date and time. And I already have it set to 2012. So you're going to want, it's going to be on 2014. You're going to have to set it to 2012. Um, this is a very crucial step because if you do not do this first before you, um, you know, install the application, it might not be able to install or it, you might not be able to open it correctly. So be sure to do this. Um, then you go into your Safari, you're going to want to navigate to um, this site called iEmulators.com. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, then you scroll all the way down, I already have it opened, it's, uh, it's the first one, record my screen, not record screen, record screen. Um, it's essentially similar, but it's much glitchier, um, so I don't recommend using that one. Uh, you're going to want to tap on this again. Keep in mind iOS 6 only, as it says right here. Um, then you're going to want to tap this big um, download tab over here. Uh, after that, it's going to ask you to confirm because it's not a, an official App Store you know, application. Uh, obviously, you confirm. It downloads it onto your um, system. And all you do is go, you know, go open it. And that's pretty much it. Um, there's two buttons, pretty self-explanatory, or you record tap to record, you tap to stop, uh, your recordings are saved over here where um, subsequently you can um, save them to your camera roll, obviously I can't yet because I'm still recording at the moment. Um, there is your settings tab where you can play around with the size and orientation. Uh, I recommend you try you play around with it first before recording anything because sometimes uh, it might not display correctly, so definitely. Uh, do that before and obviously there's credits at the end if you want to take a look at these people um, that helped create this app um, And that's pretty much it. Uh, there are there are instances where sometimes you're gonna you know try to open it and It's just going to close if that happens then um, just set your date back to 2012 open it once and then you can set it back to automatically that does happen from time to time, however, it is fixed right after you set it back to the, your date to 2012 and you open it once. Um, so yeah, this app, for me, it's still working perfectly well. Um, I hope it works for you guys. Uh, please leave a comment down below if you have any questions and I will um, do my best to answer them. Again, this is an update video uh, from my old one, my previous one, which got a pretty good amount of views. Um, that website, the, in my first video, they took it down, so yeah, this is an update video. Uh, be sure to leave a like if this helped you, um, subscribe if you haven't already, and that's it guys, thank you for watching.